saw Jim and I went to the Everglades Challenge in Fort DeSoto, Florida. Thanks, Jim, for driving me. My pleasure. It wins the Everglades Challenge regularly. Here's all these wackos. <laughs> There's a female wacko. <laughs> this boat right here, these boats, look at this. They're going to the, uh, oh, so it's going to be real easy to find Hugh and Mead if they're here. We haven't gone past Mead's, his, his uh, motorhome. Haha. Uh -huh. I think I see it up here on the left, possibly. Who's Hugh and Mead? Hugh is... Who is Hugh and Mead? Yeah. Well, Hugh Horton, the uh, uh, designer of the Bufflehead sailing canoe, and Mead Goujon, the uh, epoxy king. The uh, maker of West System epoxy. Somebody said I need to stop showing my face when I film, so I'm gonna not show my face. Instead, I'm going to show Jim's face. So I, I take it that Randy Smythe, uh, world-renowned uh, exotic boat racer, Extreme exotic trimaran. The poles rotate fore and aft. The amas very rare. So you're gonna win again? <laughs> Look at that sail too. A couple times. Interesting sort of uh, deal. I never had seen that before. Always trying new technology. If anyone knows enough about the Everglades Challenge, it's you, Jim. I've never been in it. Uh, you know more about it than I do, though. I just been fortunate enough to know some of the people who have been in it. You should join it one day. Jamie is insistent. <laughs> That's his son. Uh, those that don't know what the Everglades Challenge is, it's, a, uh, it's an expedition-style adventure race for kayaks, canoes, and small boats. Uh, the distance is roughly 300 nautical miles, depending on your course selection. Oh, really? Oh, cool. It's got the... Uh, the, yeah. During the course of the Everglades Challenge race, there is a time limit of eight days to complete it. From Tampa Bay to Key Largo. Hi, how are you? Good. Did someone you little... Ah! Rocking baby. <laughs> <laughs> the boats use these yellow floats in order to roll the boats down the beach into the water. The boat race is actually an unsupported race, so there's no safety boats or support crews to help during the race. And there is not supposed to be a support crew to follow or meet during the race. It's okay to have a family or friend meet at official checkpoints, but they can't provide anything other than emotional support. I hope I'm picking up some of this because of the wind. I hope you're not. <laughs>
Cody Bill Pie. Hey. Nice Courtney. to meet you. Oh, nice to meet, meet you. Meet Gojan, the epoxy. Hey, How you doing? You're not going to do this thing again, are you? Absolutely. Ray and Deb Weber. Yeah. From Bay City. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Guys are doing it on stand up paddle boards practically. This is a paddle board. Is it? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Dang. Yep. So everything's got to be in dry bags. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it, it's, uh, we've done a lot of trips like this though, so it's just. Fun. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Past inspection, so it can't be that bad, right? Right. <laughs> Are you guys bringing that too? Or are you bringing that? Yeah, that goes on the tail. You yeah. have a sail for it and stuff too? No, not on this trip. I do have a, I do have a thing that I use when I know that I'm only going downwind, but um, it's, a, it's a spinnaker. It looks like this, oh. except it unfolds and attaches to your ankles, and it's a spinnaker. Oh, cool. So it's human power wind assisted. Yeah. Yeah, it works really well. I've, I've used it a lot, but for this one, we didn't want to use any any wind. Awesome! Are you excited? It's crazy to miss tomorrow. Yeah, Jim. I didn't bring a toothbrush. Oh, yeah, I'll loan you one. <laughs> it's pretty cool to see the boats, see what they packed, um, meet the people and enjoy the beautiful scenery in Fort DeSoto. And the best part was my dad came and saw us. Hey everybody on YouTube, this is my dad. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Patterson, <laughs> born on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm watching. What? The only woman to ever have competed in sail. Wow. So I heard you're single handed. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah it's going to be fun. Have you done it before? I did last year. Yep. Finished cool. it last year and two years ago, uh, you know, started it, but then the event got canceled because of the weather. So, uh, What's the name of your boat? Or, uh, or the well, name of it? Called, it's not, the name's not on it, but it's called Widget. Ah. Because it's kind of like a small version of a bigger trimaran. Kind of right. Thing. Are so, you doing it for a cause or so, just doing it? Oh, just doing it, you know, for fun, for a challenge. Cool. You know, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, it's definitely a tough challenge, you know, your body. You get really tired. <laughs> yeah. So, so you sleep on the boat? Yeah, so I sleep, you know, on the nets yeah. here. And, uh, if it's cold, I lay out at home. Well, maybe one day we'll do the Everglades challenge, but I think probably once a year we'll do a little bird challenge, do a little sailing thing, and explore some islands of Florida. It's pretty worth it. <laughs>